And that's including our artist partners who signed on to the Artists for Ceasefire letter. Two of our signatories are here today with us, sharing their time. I'd like to ask, ask actors Cynthia Nixon and Danae Benton to join us now. Hi. I am so honored to stand here today in solidarity with millions of multi-faith, multi-ethnic voices around the planet screaming for a permanent ceasefire now. What a powerful sound and vibration. Many of us stand up here hungry today in solidarity with millions of Palestinians being starved to death between bombings. Depriving people of food and water is on the list of war crimes in international law's definition of genocide. A list that the U.S. is aiding and abetting Israel to make longer and longer by the second. Bombing hospitals, schools, churches, mosques, temples, and cultural sites. A clear collective punishment. I am a black girl born in Eustis, Florida, a Jim Crow town named after a Confederate general. I have known for a very long time that the U.S. government is not moved by my hunger or the hunger of those who look like me. I have to be honest with you. I do not expect Joe Biden to care about my hunger today. He has seen the same videos of one-month-old babies being pulled out of the rubble as you and I have. He has seen the same infants rotting in NICU beds in hospitals that were forcibly abandoned. He has not only seen these things, but has contributed U.S. support and spread misinformation that has made these deaths inevitable. Joe Biden knows that most housed American families are one missed paycheck away from being unhoused and hungry. He knows that we have millions of homeless and hungry people here, and yet he commits billions of dollars to Netanyahu to perform criminal acts, heinously disrespecting the name of the Jewish people who, like my people, have survived some of the worst terrors that greedy governments are capable of. And all of this during Native American Heritage Month, the arrogant and the disrespect in the face of the survivors of this nation's violence is truly astounding to me. Unfortunately, I feel quite certain that he is not moved by my hunger at this moment. Biden and many of his colleagues in Congress were running for office at the same time that my parents were surviving the conditions of apartheid in this country. The U.S. government sacrifices its conscience for power as an almost religious practice. Setting your moral compass to the side is in fact a requirement for imperialism to succeed. I am not here so that Joe Biden will be moved by my hunger. I am here because I am moved by the hunger of the people fighting for survival in Gaza and the West Bank, and the dignity of my soul deserves to be moved, and so does yours. We stand here because we are democracy, and we the people do not want this violence to continue in our names, at least 70% of us to be exact. We don't need the interpretation of a politician or a publication to feel our souls stirred. Families in Gaza are live streaming their trauma directly from the rubble. We have all watched entire family lines cease to exist in seconds. We have watched journalists and doctors and the internet be targeted on the ground because they know that the clarity of injustice is impossible to cover up when it is made visible. I am here because I believe in an ancient principle that when souls come together with intention, energy moves. We are seeing it happen now. And we are moving this energy towards life, not towards more extractive destruction. We are moving our energy towards Palestinian life because we see their precious humanity that deserves to be honored. Joe Biden, I honestly hope that you prove me wrong. I literally pray that you become the most astonishing example of restorative justice that the modern world has seen that you stop U.S. support to this destruction right this moment and instead move those funds towards repair, that you listen to the millions of people who elected you to be a rational and humane leader instead of shrugging and smiling when asked about a ceasefire. I truly hope that you change. What a miracle of miracles that would be. You do call yourself a Christian, right? As you prepare to light that very big Christmas tree, well, I have to say that right now, I'm very thankful that I will not be with you on the judgment day between you and your God with all of this blood on your hands. But right now, 
right now, today is also your chance towards redemption. Now, I would love to pour libations in honor of all of the Palestinian and Israeli lives that have been taken in the name of this Nakba. I pour libations for the end of the ongoing Nakba, and I pray that every step we make from this point forward honors the souls of the lives you deserved to live. Ashe and Amen. Yeah.